Jake got a haircut. Look, Jake got a special haircut just for today. Okay. Wow. There you go. Okay, uh, I'd like to introduce everyone. I'm Jane Leaker from Barry Uncovered, and my boss, Ian Hendry, Sharon Palmer, the executive director, newly assigned to the Barry Food Bank, Don Nucci from Canada's Top Mayor Awards and Bring Your A Game, and Jake Mathias, one of the two incredible minds behind Barry Live Music. So oh. we're, we're here tonight to talk about what's going on with Berry Live Music and the food bank and how we're all interconnected. So maybe we could start with Sharon for a moment. Yeah, Sharon, right. can you introduce us and tell us your new, your new position and just our overall view of what, what the Barry Food Bank is? Sure, of course. So my new position is executive director for the Berry Food Bank and the Berry Food Bank serves all of the Barry area and it provides uh, temporary food relief to families and individuals who are in need of food support. So they're usually struggling financially, trying to figure out how to pay the rent and put groceries on the table as well. So we're there to help them and we provide um, service to those clients uh, three days a week and we'll provide a whole grocery cart of um, uh, food to the families and we they can basically come back once a month to get um, a whole <coughs> cart full of food from us. Okay and as over the last year have you seen a big increase in people that's having to use the food bank? Absolutely so uh, compared to January February last year we're up about 60 percent uh, wow. from what the numbers were in terms of number of households that are using the food bank. And that represents about 960 to 970 households in the month that would be coming to the food bank. Wow, that's a lot of, a lot of people who... A lot of people, yes. And, and, and imagine the first time somebody has to use the food bank, they have to go over the embarrassment, but it's, there's no embarrassment having to do it. It's just Absolutely pride. Not. It can any you know anybody's circumstances can change, and we try to make it really um, you know as easy as possible for them. Right now, we're doing a very um, shortened down intake process. We're just making sure that people reside in the Barry area, and we look for some identification um, and their birth date, and that's all they really need to show to us at this point in time to uh, to get service from the food bank. Well, oh, that makes it a lot easier for everybody then. Yes, and and we want part of that is also as a result of COVID, we're trying to you know minimize the amount of time that people are together and the, and the amount of space and and just make it a very quick, easy process uh, with minimal contact. Okay, so of course we're we're very thankful to uh, Body Live Music. Um, it's uh, it's came a long way. Jake, since uh, last March when you first started it? Yeah, we are over uh, 11,000 people now. And we've wow. raised over $110,000. Wow. It's been pretty good. Um, we've been, actually, the funny thing is our very first charity was the Berry Food Bank. So that was awesome. Um, yeah, I remember. We did a lot of, uh, I really kickstarted it too. It got a lot of people involved with um with, from the community, like a lot of people connect with it and either they've helped there or they've used it. Like you guys were saying, um, there's been, um, there's been a big outpouring of awesomeness from the, <laughs> the very uh, community. It's been, yeah. uh, it's been pretty crazy actually to see the, the amount of donations and the, I, I personally can see where the donations come from. And uh, it's always, we do have 11,000 people, but it is like the same 750 people donating yeah. throughout the year. And the big donations come from the same, I'd say 100 people, which is, it's pretty incredible. And a lot of people want to remain anonymous and it's great. Sometimes I talk them into letting me show the community who's donating money because then hopefully like, you know, it'll get people in. And this time, um, this time around, I'm looking forward to doing it again for Food Banks Canada, but I'm, I really made a point to let people know that it is connected with the Barry Food Bank because uh, I find local uh, is a lot easier to yeah. to raise money for than anything. It's, you know, if it's local and it's um, family oriented, it, it really goes a long way. 
Of course, you're also helping uh, a lot of local artists as well. So it's a two-pronged benefit. Yeah, it is. It's been good. And like, and everybody, nobody's got paid for any of it, which is a lot of people have uh, think that the artists are making something off it, but they're not really. We have the privilege of meeting uh, about 240 local artists and another 600 artists from around the world, not just like oh. Canada. We've had people from Australia, Japan, England, uh, one one or two people in Thailand, uh, a couple of Canadians from um, Costa Rica, um, another Canadian from Brazil. So we've had lots of people from all over and like several, uh, like about 120 people from the United States. Yeah, I've listened to that quite a few times and I'm embarrassed to say I, I used to donate and I haven't donated for a wee while now, so I'll try and rectify that. No, I, I, every little bit helps and, and it's not only uh, the money donations that help it's the 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 fanfare like people getting on and supporting the artists even yeah. if you can't donate uh, the ability just to share it on your own social media so more people see it more people join sometimes that's worth more than a dollar even you know if we can get it out there and another thousand people join that usually works out to be another thousand bucks yeah we, we again we used to share <laughs> haven't done it for a while now <laughs> So I have, again apologize. I always share, Jake. <laughs> and of course, we've got Don now from uh, Bring Your A Game, who's tying us up with uh, the, the Barry and the Food Bank. So tell us about what you're going to offer then, Don. Yeah, well, I guess what I want to share is that, um, you know, how important it is to get together with like-minded people and organizations such as Jake and Jordan and their team at Very Live Music, as well as yourself, Ian, and your team at Barry Uncovered. And, you know, uh, organizations like uh, Nikki started with the Barry Family Unite. I mean, uh, it's important now to support people during this challenging time. Many charities are suffering, as are many artists and businesses. And so, it's really inspiring to see people come together and use their creativity um, to create these opportunities for us all to collaborate and give back uh, to our community. You know, um, the Bring Your A Game started as a quiz show as a national effort for Food Banks Canada. But um, I really saw an opportunity to do something locally as well. And I really am inspired and, and I admire what Jake and his brothers started. And, and it's things like that that, that um, have really pulled a lot of people through these challenging times. So yeah. I wanted to collaborate and um, find a way to continue that good work. And so we're not only raising money for Food Banks Canada, which will give to local charity here as well. But I reached out to some friends at Moochie Farms and they're sending some pallets of fresh produce to the Berry Food Bank. And it was great to meet you today, Sharon. Um, and we, we got together and uh, chatted a bit about her new role and we took some pictures. And so I'm just really inspired uh, to see so many people coming together, not just to you know create opportunities to give back, but to give people something positive and inspiring that allows them to sort of connect and to um, do something collaboratively in such a time of isolation. I mean, what Jake's done with the music, um, people have a way to connect with one another and a way to offload some of that stress and anxiety that comes with everything that we're all going through. And um, I'm super excited because not only do I get to collaborate with this great organization and all the artists that are already um, talentedly performing all the time and just it's it's such a fun show to watch I get to invite some of my family and friends to to come on and help in the fundraising effort and I uh, I just want to share some of the acts that will be joining the already talented people on the platform we have the Devin Cuddy band coming on oh, to cool. perform uh, Robert <laughs> Laidlaw uh, from you know Platinum Blonde Honeymoon Suite the basis has a, a bunch of amazing artists that he will um, you know have come on and he's going to perform ryan conley an up-and-coming country star uh he's he's also performing and then my brother adam song chow will be on and uh i might actually perform with catherine uh who's a regular on the show uh oh, Kat. Kat. So yeah. I, I said well i don't know if i'll do it live but i might like we could maybe tape it and send it in because mm -hmm. i get like huge anxiety and butterflies if i have to do a live performance or uh. sing Public, it's called so. body live music though so I know. <laughs> I know. oh my god it's so scary but um 
you know, it's just, I, I'm really excited to see what we can accomplish as a collaborative together yeah. for the month of April. And thank you, Jake, for stepping up and allowing me to work with you for this month. Yeah, it's going to be fun. I'm going to play myself too on the second Friday of the month. I haven't played for a little while, so yeah. I get on there and I really guilt people into giving me money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not going on Friday either. Yeah, I, I, I'm not. I'm not afraid to to really milk people. That's good. <laughs> well, one good. Thing I, 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 I do. I hold. I do hold the record for the most money raised in one night, and that's basically. I wasn't sure if they were paying me to get off or. <laughs> <laughs> we did it though. We got a big night. We had a. I think it was fourteen hundred bucks in one night. Wow. It was a good day. Wow, that's wow. great. So and it all, exactly. And it all ties in with what you, as a reading Sharon, you were saying that you're looking for more money now because again, you don't want to be handling the. The food donations, that's right. We, we are focusing on financial donations at this time. It really works for us on a number of levels. Um, it means that we don't have to ask people to go shopping. It means that we don't have to handle as much product. We can buy in bulk and we always buy from our local grocery stores. So we support our, um, our local uh, businesses. And yeah, that's true. I was actually just talking to Justin at No Frills. Oh no, not Chris. Chris at, at No Lake Frills, Street. Yes. He said you guys mm -hmm. support them a lot. I was telling him about what we were doing and he was like, yeah, they buy from us all the time. So it was good to hear. Absolutely. Yeah. And Sharon, you have a wonderful, uh, no, I'm sorry, Dawn, you have a wonderful donation coming in. Maybe you'd like to touch on that for a moment. Uh, I did br briefly touch oh, on yes. it. So our friends at Moochie Farms down in Kingsville, um, growers of tomatoes and all wonderful fresh produce are sending up a skid of, of fresh produce. So that's kind of the hard stuff to get and it's nice, especially at this time of year uh, to exactly. receive that. And I'm going to sweeten the pot. Like I don't know, I know Jake said he, he was getting paid either to get off on, <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to sweeten the deal because I have behind me here an amazing prize package and Jake and I are going to discuss how you can win that through the month of April um, by coming on and participating and making a donation and by the way there's going to be like $500 worth of prizing for you people who are going to support this and help us out and uh, so that's uh, just something I would like to contribute as well for, um, for the cause. Oh, well, man. We're not it actually great. Uh, <laughs> Jake contributed some of it, and uh, we have amazing prize sponsors as well. And we will be um, listing our, all of our prize sponsors, including Smokes Poutinery, um, <laughs> while we're while we're promoting the show. Yeah. Good. Yeah. And I, I would well, like to say that we would love to donate something, obviously to the food bank. Mm. <laughs> through the Body Live Music, we will definitely do a sizable donation to the, the, the fund. But also if we can add to the prize, then I would, we'd be more than welcome. Because the more people we can get to watch this, and as Jake says, if he's the master salesman, then <laughs> we can make a lot of money here and, and support the local. And as Jake says, local seems to work sometimes and, and everybody involved here is very much Barry. That's right. So, yeah, that'd be great. The, uh, if the ability Jake. to the ability for all of us to to grow the page another you know three to four hundred members through it this month will I'll guarantee you another thousand on top of whatever we normally would raise. And, and, and for April we will do that. We will we will share music. We'll we'll definitely awesome. donate through. So we'll we'll do everything we can to to help. Uh, can I ask right. a question? Can I, I ask know. a question, Jake? Your T-shirts. Um, do you give a portion of those proceeds as well, or how yeah, does so, uh, I love hundred percent of, of the profits go towards uh, the food bank, and well, we'll go towards the charity of the month. So, uh, port like it's not. I think it costs us about twelve bucks to make a hoodie, and we sell them for forty. So, a hundred percent of the profits go towards the. We keep no profit at all. It's wonderful, Jake. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to throw that in because it's important that they yeah. have this amazing gear that they that they're and that they... also we have uh, there's a company that that makes them for us and they're here uh, they're called Lifted and they are uh, they're a local company they make all our shirts and hats and um, Barry Lachance is the owner and so we've worked with him since kind of the beginning we had a couple other companies we used to 
use in and out and they were the easiest guys to take our weird orders at weird times <laughs> they, they, you know they were more willing to to do like whatever we told them to so they're we thank them for that they're they're a good company at lifted there so uh, how is the month structured out how is it going to all work out jake so we have uh every day starting uh usually between six and seven someone will come on for an hour and play but aside from like the structured people that come to play, there is no, there's nonstop people sharing videos and coming on live and playing either like one or two songs, but we'll, uh, we'll host um, basically a live performance and it'll be an hour at a time. And one, um, one of the musicians will come on and play for an hour and talk about their music and where you can find their music and ask people for donations. And we share links on the live performance so that you can see where you can donate or purchase the apparel and um, also ways that you can come and and play as well and we we're thinking about doing some kind of karaoke uh, in the middle of the month so like even if you're not a musician you can come on and <laughs> belt one out and have fun with it right yeah well i'm, not, I'm definitely not a musician so i may help <laughs> such a great idea i love it yeah you know it, it for me this is it's so original and of course, you've been original now for a year, Jake. So yeah, it's been... it must be hard to think of new ideas all the time. Yeah, well, there's, <clears throat> excuse me, there's a few people that are involved with it. And um, I do like all the media stuff. And um, it's been actually pretty good. So in the first like three or four months of the program, I just did everything like 45 hours a week. It was crazy. And uh, then I got my brother Jordan to help. And um from there, we got like some other moderators behind the scenes that really do do the work, and it's it's me and a few girls that really do awesome, um, and a couple other the guys too. That, but uh, there's a few girls that really do a ton of work on the site itself, and it's there's there's not a lot of monitoring that has to be done, but there is some. Uh, yeah. There's always um, you know the couple bad apples in the bunch, but we it's always. never been negativity or anything. It's always just somebody jumping on as a bot and trying to sell weird things and. It's been good that way. We've never had anybody that's been negative or anything like that. Very rare does that happen. And um, it's usually somebody that's jealous. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's so. I mean, no, we know one of your, um, one of your founders, Kat, and she's a great girl as well. So. Yeah, she's awesome. Yeah. So she doesn't get as much time now though, to perform, I don't think. Well, she got a new job and yeah, now she's kind of a big time, so. No, but she does. She jumps on at least once a week for us. And I play, I, I don't get on as much as I used to, mostly because I think I kind of overdid it. Like for the first like five months, I was playing like three to five times a week. And then we finally started getting more people to fill the spots. And it was great. I didn't have to do it anymore. And yeah. it was so good to see. I still see people on a regular basis that I don't know or never seen before. Like, so there's always new people joining, which is awesome. That's great. So have we uh, set a goal or? Uh, we will be setting a goal of at least two thousand dollars, but I usually do that, and then as soon as I get close to it, I just keep moving it up so people <laughs> keep donating. So we usually try to get to five grand every month. So we'll do a visual on that on on our site so that people can see it, and maybe that will push them a little bit too. That's good, yeah. And the more we can share about it on social media, and um, nor so normally we do it's a two thousand dollar, but I think this month we should try to push for at least five thousand because there's a lot more people involved with it than just me sharing stuff and making stuff happen, right? So with you, with all the help of you guys, and um, I know that Rock ninety five is going to help me and you guys as well. I I already sent an email to Randy Richards, and he said, uh, yeah, no problem. He's already putting it on the very uh he's putting it on i don't know what he said but he said he's, <laughs> he's putting it somewhere. At it. Yeah, I swear. <laughs> yeah so he's gonna help and um yeah there's gonna be other people like and i said we're gonna do some fun stuff too we're gonna get a karaoke yeah. going and we'll get uh we'll get everybody on there maybe we'll get ian singing like shepherd lad or something <laughs> oh maybe old lang zane or something like that. yeah yeah there you go <laughs> I, guess old, you know. yeah. I don't know if that fits into the body of life music it definitely right. does <laughs> Yeah, it definitely does. So is this being excited, Shannon? This is very exciting. I got to tell you, I'm uh, I'm just thrilled with this whole concept and all the support. And uh, yeah, it sounds like a fabulous idea. 
And I remember talking to Don and uh, trying to think of other ideas going forward. Um, we're, so uh, we've got a couple of ideas for maybe May, June. So yeah, we're we'll, working hopefully on. Hopefully, be able to fill that in after. But at the moment, in time. I'm, I'm just focused on Barry Loud music and make sure it's uh, as big a success as it can be. Yeah, it should be. Uh, I started putting some stuff up last night and it got, it was pretty well received. I got like about 20 messages already and people are excited to see the food bank come full circle and that we're doing it again. I'm going to reach out to a uh, local country music legend, Jason McCoy, and see if I can get him on this month too. Wow. He's usually a big supporter of the food bank and he made a large cash donation. He was the biggest donator of our first month and uh, one, he's one of the biggest cash donations that we've ever had. So Ooh, uh, wonderful. That's only so one, cool. Actually, there's only one person that beat him and we don't even know who it was. They were anonymous. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, actually, you know, I'm a Scotsman, so you know, it wasn't me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's important to mention too that every donation we can also see coming in on the honor roll as can everyone else. So when you do donate, you can actually go and see the Food Bank Canada donation page and there's a scrolling honor roll with people's names who've made a donation and what they donated. But there's a lot of anonymous on there too, you know, and so you don't have to put your name if you're not comfortable with that, you, you really don't. And Jake's done another um, kindness to, to us as well. As you know, um, we wrapped up the, the Bring Your A Game quiz show with Adam Grow uh, yeah. just on the 28th. And Adam um, is supporting this, and but he's not gonna sing. He's <laughs> made it very clear, he does not sing, but um, Jake is going to be brought rebroadcasting the episodes of one through four of the Bring Your A Game sometime every Sunday. And it's, uh, I don't know what time Jake's decided on for that, but thank you for that, Jake. Um, well, the shows they, are they, really funny. Well, the shows will go on um, probably between eight and nine. Um, that way we can have a, two headliners come on between six and eight and then uh, two more headliners come on between nine and 11 because they're what they're roughly 35 minutes the shows are a half an hour on spot yeah. yeah so that way we'll have a little bit of time to break in between and then sometime throughout the month maybe we'll do we do um um a hosted program with my brother jordan um hosts that I came up with for him because he wouldn't stop talking so I gave him a talk show uh, it's called according to Jordan and we, we bring people in on Skype and then from Skype I can put people into the, the Facebook live so we can do like what it looks like a zoom here but I can put you all on a Facebook live it's kind of like a stream yard and stuff like that but it's a little better uh, for musicians it sounds a little better yeah um, so that would be something we could maybe uh look at doing in the future with everybody and you guys could all come on and maybe we'll do a little karaoke sing-off or something. We'll oh, word. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's scary. It is. Good. That'd be good. It I'll, be I'll good. have to have a few beers before we do that. Hey, no problem. I'll meet Jake. you at Wild Wing. I'll meet you at Wild Wing down the road. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we'll do we, we, can, we can do it live from Wild Wings and get them to donate. Hey, that's no problem. Let's I got all it. the streaming equipment you'll ever need. I did uh, Barry's Live Music Show did uh, Kempenfest this year for them, and we we streamed all of the live musicians onto uh, Facebook Live from Donnelly's. Oh, it, it, we, cool. can, we, we can do that no problem anywhere you want. I got all the gear for it. God, I wish I never said it. Uh, we should. We should do a care. We should find a pub that wants to sponsor and do a live karaoke night at the pub. That's a fantastic we, we totally idea. Can. I I honestly have a lot of awesome live stream equipment that was donated by JN Roofing and uh, Contracting and Barry cool. here. Wonderful. They donated all the gear for us, and uh, we we can bring it with us. And we just set it up, and we got like I got high end cameras and real microphones and awesome. It's really it'd be it'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, it's an idea. I will I will investigate. Even Good. if you don't want to sing in, you can just find somewhere we can drink some beers, right? That's right. I'm all Here in for that. that, that I, I'm all good with that. Uh, <laughs> I can sing, yes. I'm not sure if I'm up for this, but uh, <laughs> beer. I'm up for the beer. Yeah, there you out. go. You have to uh, lead by example, Sharon. <laughs> Jake, I was going to ask you, do you think we're going to have any front lawn music this summer yet? Yeah, we could maybe do it through April if it's nice enough. 
Oh, that would be so wonderful. And we just have to put barricades up because you know you'd have thousands come out. <laughs> oh, we miss we it so were, much. We were going to set up at my, my store here and do it out front because we just do silly things like that. But I asked the mayor and she said, maybe not in front of the store because there'll be too many people in the parking lot. But mm -hmm. a parking lot's a big space. <laughs> I thought, but... <laughs> We'll see. I got to talk to her again about it because I told her we wanted to do it. And they, they didn't say no yet. So, well, good. We all miss the energy of music so much. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we were first set up to do is look at live artists and stuff. And it's, it's been a terrible year. So, thank God for Barry we, Live Music. We, we were talking about it with my new band that we're going to do like a secret pop up show. We're just going to show up and start playing somewhere live. Yeah. And then if people gather, it's not that many. Like we weren't going to tell people where because we have a new band uh, called a one way ticket. And we have a new single coming out on the 8th oh, of yeah. April. So we were going to do it like the next weekend after it comes out. So we oh. could uh, make a bit of a scene and then just play like 10 songs and then get out of there before we get <laughs> and head to the next bar. Right. Yeah. All right. Sounds, a, sounds like oh, is a, pop, a pop crawl. Kind of yeah. yeah. We'll put ourselves in the back of a flatbed and just drive from bar to bar playing. <laughs> well, you have to send us your single when you release it. I will for sure. Yeah. You guys will see it. Don't worry. I'm pretty uh, much of a yeah. know, social media. I can't wait for music to come back. Night and uh get back outside and fun so me too i can't wait to like we usually last year we had like 36 live performances booked and we didn't wow. do it so mm -hmm. we did nice. a couple in my backyard and one in my lead guitar player's front lawn and that was about it we also we barry's live music show has a has a template for a live drive-in concert if you guys know anybody looking to mm -hmm. get involved with that we got about I, we spent about ten thousand dollars on it so far, wow. and uh, it's it's going to be a big deal when we can finally do it. We do need uh, some real support, though. We were looking into maybe getting, you know, RBC or somebody that's super rich locally. <laughs> maybe well, Paul maybe maybe we should talk afterwards about no, everything we that we're thinking about doing too, Jake. Okay. Yeah. And Ian. That'd be great. Yeah, yeah. That sounds fun. Okay, so, but it was been great talking to you, and I think this is going to be a great success. I, I don't yeah, see how it can fail. It. But the, the, the people that's involved, um, it's guaranteed, I think. I think you'll beat five grand. I've got, I can feel it. I think cool. we're going to start the arrow higher than that for you, Jake. Yeah, let's and, do it. And we'll update it daily online. I, what do you think about that, Ian? Oh, daily is a bit much, but we'll, we'll, well definitely. Every, okay, every couple of days, yeah. I think it'll be very. We want cool. to see it jumping. Yeah. Okay. Right. A jump is good. That's true. That's true. okay. Anybody else? Shout out. Just to say that I'm really grateful for all this support. Uh, it's a fabulous idea. I'm excited about the donation from Muchi Farms um, and the the whole um, support from the community is just amazing. So thank you all, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what we can do together. Thank this you, when, This is when you know the community. Barry's a, a great community, and it's this Absolutely. is when you see it. So, what were you doing? When uh, are you well, singing? You know, you, you put a bunch of creative entrepreneurs in a room, and shit's going to happen. So, <laughs> um, I just, I Quite feel like, I, sing. <laughs> I feel like, um, I have to do a shameless plug. I think everyone needs to bring their A game. Yes. Um, we also have a t shirt sponsor, uh, Bruce from Instant Imprints, a local berry supplier. And they've given us a huge break so that our proceeds and profits from the sale of our swag will also, like Jake's, uh, be able to go to a local charity of our chosen choice, of our choice. So um, thank you for that, Bruce. And um, yeah, go, uh, go team. Let's, let's raise lots of money. Okay. And from you, Alas, what, Jack? I'm just looking forward to seeing you guys all sing. So, oh. <laughs> yeah, okay, singing yeah. voices. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, yeah. You're sick. You got two that. days. I'm going to uh, put out a couple more posts about it. We'll share some stuff. I'm going to, um, we're going to hit our Instagram too. Um, and we're going to do some Facebook Live uh, immediately. I think. We're right now we're doing AV Youth Canada, which is like another local charity which deals with anti-violence for youth, and it's okay. pretty neat charity. So 
uh, as soon as we're done there, we're going to get into this and it's going to be good. We're really going to get into it. I've already talked to the team. Uh, it's going to be all hands on deck every day. It'll be good. Yeah, and we'll, we'll post this onto our uh, YouTube channel and then we'll post it on so that anybody can just go and take it, use it as much as you like and, and get awesome. the word out. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'll and Jake, fun. will you just stay on for a few minutes after everyone leaves? Wonderful. Well, I think we're getting kicked off, Dawn, Sharon. Pretty. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. It's been wonderful. Okay. And we Thank will you. have Thank great you. times. Okay. Thanks yeah. very much. We'll talk Thank to everybody guys. soon. Bye. Yeah, Bye -bye. Well, I'm, I'm sure we'll do an update halfway through the month, just as. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm just going to grab a pen, Jake. Yeah. Right. Don't forget Bye. to bring your A game. Yeah, bring okay. your A game, everybody. Are you really going to kick me off, Ian? Yeah. No, you can stay right there if your little heart desires, Dawn. Okay. I'm saying <laughs> goodbye then. I'm okay, saying bye, goodbye. Sharon. You Thank had you. a busy day. <laughs> Thank you. Bye -bye. Right, bye. I can't even see anybody in my eyes. I'm like blind <laughs> as a bat. <laughs> me too. I just pretend. So, Jake, I'm